Hello Father, hello Father Obito here, greetings from the land of Jesus. I'm here to explore more about Jerusalem. So please join me and I have more videos to come. Mabuhay, God bless you and muchas gracias. Dios les bendiga a todos. Salamat Masiya. Maslin ila qabr Yusuf. Nagbur fi nasra. Khadim sir. Tagassud al ilahi. في هذا المكان يوجد قبر يوسف النجار and a uh, few years later, when they wanted to buy some uh, more land, uh, they asked the people, and it was very expensive. So they didn't know why, and they asked, and a woman bent and kept the soil and said, this is the tomb of the just man. So the sisters didn't know what she meant when she said that. She thought that maybe it was uh, just uh, uh, something like that to sell more expensive or... Uh, <laughs> so uh, they forgot about it and uh, they continued their, their life. Uh, they had a school uh, and a lot of things to do. But in 1884, a workman cleaned the cistern uh, just uh, there the and, and, uh, stole, and he kept wedged. So he called uh, the other workman and they came and uh, when they wanted to help him, um, they dislodged a stone that fell into uh, this empty space. And he saw the stone uh, fall and uh, he put uh, his lamp uh, in, the, in the hole and then he saw uh, this place. And uh, it was the beginning of uh, all the discoveries. So you must imagine that there it was filled with uh, Rubble. a lot of things, uh, mud, yes, uh, and they had to deal to clear out uh, everything. But it was not a very scientific work because they did that with the workmen, uh, the pupils <laughs> of uh, the school, <laughs> and uh, the sisters uh, all uh, together, <laughs> they did that. They didn't know how big uh, their discovery was uh, at this time. Um, what is important uh, here is uh, the Byzantine vault. <laughs> because uh, this Byzantine vault uh, can be related to a text from a man named Arthur, who came here in the 7th century and wrote about uh, his uh, travel and said that in Nazareth there are two churches. Uh, the first one, the Church of the Annunciation, and the second one, it said the Church of the Nutrition in the place where Jesus was brought up. Mm -hmm. And he said that the Church of the Nutrition was made of two, uh, but there were two Byzantine vaults and also a well where all the people came to draw water. And here we have a well, we found it that. We, you must imagine that there, there was a pulley and a they drew, drew the, the rope, mm -hmm. and uh, here you have the maps of the rope. Mm -hmm. oh, can see that. Mm -hmm. yes, there is no more water, but mm -hmm. we think that uh, deep inside uh, there is still uh, some river or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And in the wall, you see, there are the stones made, uh, it's a hole made by predators. <laughs> you can, we can see that uh, because of uh, the way it's uh, placed and uh, this kind of thing. So we think that there was a Byzantine church and then predators came and built a church on the Byzantine church. <clears throat> so we can wonder why uh, would they build uh, churches there 
uh, what is the reason? And so we found a lot of things from uh, pilgrims. Uh, also, we saw some mosaics, uh, some coins from the Byzantine period, and uh, we we are sure that it was a place where uh, pilgrims came a lot to pray, to worship, and also to venerate uh, the place. Mm -hmm. So then they discovered this cave, a uh, carved into rock. Uh, there, there are many possibilities. We can imagine that there we are in the street, and this could be a cave from the first century where people came to work, for example. It could be a worship. Someday that maybe it's a uh, St. Joseph's worship. Mm -hmm. And so we can imagine that because it was typical of uh, the time uh, people lived in this kind of uh, cave. It was a, a reality. And when uh, in the Gospels uh, we, le we read that uh, Jesus was born in a cave, it was this kind of cave <laughs> that were really used. And there you can see uh, some basins. Um, we think that there was water. Uh, who came from uh, there, mm -hmm. and um, here uh, you have a hole uh, where light could pass. Mm -hmm. so, uh, we don't really know uh, what these basins uh, were for, but uh, we imagine that maybe it was for uh, the utensils, but to work and they put mm -hmm. uh, things uh, in that, or uh, maybe. If this was a place where early Christians came to pray, uh, this could be uh, things for baptism, for example. But we don't uh, have uh, evidences of. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you find anything here, like any here? The coins or the? Yes, other things, but everything that was found is not here anymore. And yeah. uh, the sisters didn't realize uh, what they discovered. So during uh, the during. Uh, yeah, during the excavation, <coughs> they gave a lot of things oh, to yeah. pilgrims uh, oh. who came and who said mm -hmm. that they would clean uh, the coins, for example. So we lost a lot of things uh, <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> and uh, the archaeologists came uh, later and uh, said to the sisters uh, how huge it was, <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. they didn't know. Uh, mm -hmm. They didn't take any photos or anything? No, uh, no video? <laughs> <laughs> is, it was the table that smooth? No, uh, this is just uh, the, the sisters uh, added this uh, for an altar and the statue of Saint Joseph. But there's no thing there. And there, where you stand, <laughs> there was a skeleton <laughs> uh, from a bishop. Um, he was uh, seated and had a ring on. Uh, yes, he had a ring, and we think that it's a bishop because uh, of his position. Because uh, to be uh, uh, in a, to be seated is a um, sign of authority. So it's uh, interesting because uh, why uh, would the bishop be buried here? Uh, we can think that maybe it was a crypt here. Uh, the crypt of uh, one of the two churches uh, built by the Christians. And so uh, the bishop uh, is buried here. And here you have two other tombs. So. <coughs> two well, other tombs. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. open tombs uh, because of uh, their shape, in fact. Mm -hmm. But we didn't find the uh, bodies uh, there. And the sisters thought uh, it that uh, the tomb of the just man, <laughs> but then they continued to the escalation. And so 
السلام ليوسف خادم سر التجسد الالهي قبر القديس يوسف النجار في الناصرة السلام لي اطلب المسيح يباركنا ويخلي لنا السلام ليوسف خاتم سر التجسد الالهي where the Holy Family could have lived. Mm -hmm. So, according to Ken Dark, an archaeologist who came here to study the place, this could be the Holy, the Holy, uh, Holy Family's house. Uh, we don't know for sure, but it's possible mm -hmm. uh, because of the churches uh, that were built uh, among, among mm -hmm. that. And, um, that's sure is that it's a typical uh, Jewish house uh, because in the house, uh, it, uh, there it's uh, the inside and uh, the door <laughs> leading to the outside. Um, in the house, we found we found it um, some cooking pottery mm -hmm. and also uh, things made of limestone, and it's interesting because. Um, Jewish uh, thought that limestone purified everything, so it was really uh, typical of Jewish families to have a limestone vessel. Mm -hmm. um, we can be sure that a family lived here also. Um, it's a small house, but typical of the time with uh, two rooms. So what I found very interesting is that really uh, we can picture uh, what could be the way of life of uh, the Holy Family because uh, it's a very humble house mm -hmm. and um, there is a, not a lot of things. But um, one of the other things that Ken Dark, the archaeologist, said is that uh, this uh, house is carved into rock by a man who knew uh, his job. Mm -hmm. And St. Joseph uh, is described in the Bible as a tecton. Uh, it's not exactly a carpenter, but it's more a uh, builder, uh, so we could work on other materials, so we don't know, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And the stairs you can see mm -hmm. there um, were made by crusaders. So uh, we must imagine that there we are probably in the crypt of that church, mm -hmm. and they came there to pray and uh, to bury the place. Uh, mm -hmm. This has been very well uh, kept and uh, conserved, so, uh, we can, it's, um, they wanted to keep this place and to pray here. So mm -hmm. the question is why, and uh, an answer, a possible answer is that uh, there was the place where the Holy Family lived. Mm -hmm. There, yes. there was this stone. When they moved the stone, <coughs> they felt a strong smell of incense. And in uh, this cave, there was an altar uh, spurs from um, the crusaders, 
uh, that were in the rock like ex bottles and uh, also uh, other things like a cup for uh, communion and uh, that kind of thing. But we can be sure that crusaders and uh, Christians uh, came here to worship God. And it's by this place that we entered uh, the tomb. So the tomb of the just man, uh, which is uh, probably, we don't know for sure, <laughs> but that can be uh, the tomb of Saint Joseph. Um, wow. There was a neural tradition who said that it was the tomb of the just. Uh, why could it be Saint Joseph? Uh, Saint Joseph in the Gospel is described as, as a just man, and, um, but in the Bible the just is the saint. And so we can wonder why a uh, tomb is built so close to the house. Mm -hmm. It was not uh, the way it was uh, made uh, the, at the time, but uh, the just purify, purify everything, purifies everything uh, for a uh, duration uh, mm -hmm. in this tradition. So it is possible that because Joseph was a just man, he was buried near to the house mm -hmm. because it was not impure. Mm -hmm. Um, to see the tomb, you can follow me uh, five at a time or six at a time. It's not a, but uh, there is no place for us. <laughs> well, you're going to be able to take it. I can send it to you. Two, four, four, five. And is there thought of like what is first century, what is maybe uh, Hellenist or uh, Roman uh, Helen and Crusader? Um, yeah. So yeah, the tomb is from the first century. قبر القديس يوسف النجار خادم سر التجسد الإلهي بالناصرة موجود في 
مدرسة راهبات الناصرة في منزل يهودي قديم قديس يوسف الصديق حسب التقاليد والاكتشافات والموقع والشرح اللي احنا سمعناه هنا جسد القديس يوسف خادم سر التجسد الالهي النجار لا نستحق ان نقف في هذا المكان هذا القديس العظيم الذي عاش مع السيد المسيح وكان ظلا للسيدة العذراء وكان انسانا حنونا ومحبا ليسوع المسيح الكلمة المتجسد وكان معلما له حرفة نجارة انه شفيع العمال قديس يوسف النجار خادم سر تجسد الالهي اكسيوس 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 مستحق 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 ايها القديس العظيم يوسف النجار صل عنا وصل عن الجميع واطلب المسيح يباركنا ويحللنا امين لالهنا المجد الدائما ابديا امين